how to create a free Jira workspace for your company and team. Let's have a look. Yes, that is correct. You may not have known this, but Jira Cloud is free and you do not need a credit card to get started. To get started with Jira, go to atlassian.com forward slash software forward slash Jira forward slash free. So what's included in the free version of Jira? The free version of Jira supports up to 10 users. If you require more than 10 users, you can upgrade by subscribing to either standard, premium or enterprise editions. In the free version, only 2 gigabytes of storage is included within your Jira instance. If you require permissions to be set for users, then you will not be able to support this in the free version. There are also some limits on email notifications in the free version. For more details on what's included in the free edition of Jira, head to atlassian.com forward slash software forward slash Jira forward slash pricing, which includes all the details of features included, limitations, and what is the comparison between the free version and the next version such as standard. Otherwise, the Jira free edition is great for small teams wanting to plan and manage work more efficiently. You can also install plenty of apps in Jira to complement your experience. So head to the marketplace and install apps such as Vansa Test Management for Jira to improve your software delivery lifecycle. Okay, let's get started. Now you'll see Jira selected at the top. You'll see other options where you can add Confluence or Jira Service Management. For this video, we'll focus on Jira only. However, feel free to enable either Confluence or Service Management in your instance. Click next to continue. You will need to log in if you have an account with Atlassian, otherwise create your account. In this example, we'll proceed by creating a new Atlassian account for our instance. Once you click sign up, you will need to verify your account because this is the first time that Atlassian recognizes you. Do check your spam folder in case you've missed the email. You receive an email that asks you to first verify that your email is a valid account. Click on verify your email. Now you can enter your password to continue to activate and complete your creation of your account. Click sign up. And this is where we get to choose the site name for our Jira instance. In our example, I will use my own site. And you will do the same as well. If it is green, it means this site name does not exist. If it's red, it means you need to choose a different name. Once you've verified it, click agree to continue. When you see this screen, it means Jira is asking a little bit about yourself to improve your experience. Feel free to answer them questions, otherwise click on skip at the bottom. Once you see the one moment your site is starting up, it's great news, your instance is about to be created. In a few moments, you will have your Jira workspace up and running for you. In the next screen, you will notice a few basic questions asked by Jira to recommend the best project template and methodology for you. You can choose to skip these questions, otherwise click next when ready. Now in this screen, we create our first project name. You will need to give your project a unique name and project key. There are several templates available for your project. I do recommend you watch our other video which describes the differences between project types in Jira. Now click create project once ready. In this screen you can invite your teammates by entering their email addresses, otherwise you can add them later once the project has been created. Click done once ready. And that is it, our project has been created in our new free Jira workspace. I do recommend you take the tour and navigate through the quick start to learn more about Jira and managing your projects. 